Hey, what's up, Framer community? Omar here. Welcome to this quick tutorial video for the first device mockups plugin for Framer. Finally, you can add beautiful device mockups directly into your Framer projects and customize them super easily. Let's jump straight into it. Now, we've divided our mockups into two categories. We have scenes and non scenes. If I filter the feed by scenes, you can see all these beautifully crafted scenes. In fact, all these scenes even have animations embedded into them. This feed is always being uh, added to and is consistently growing every single week. Now, if I exit the filter for scenes, you can see amongst this, you have a bunch of standalone mock-up models that you can use inside of your projects, which are very easy to customize. Let's in fact add an, an iPhone into our current project. We'll go with the iPhone 15 Pro. In this case, we have four variants for this particular model in different angles. So let's go ahead and insert this model into our canvas. If you want to resize your mockups, you need to make sure that width and height are locked. This is crucial. So this will actually maintain the ratio of the screen, as you can see. You can also do this by simply holding shift on your keyboard as you scale up and down. If you don't do this, you would get sort of like wacky results like this. I'm going to set it to lock. And in fact, within this frame, I'll set it to fill. So it occupies the full frame width. Great. Let's explore how you can customize these mockups. It's very easy. From the inspector panel, you can see the component settings that we've set up. You have variant switching, so you can switch to different angles. You've got the ability to upload the screen and we've also set a description for the screen size. You can also switch on video and this is where you upload your video file. And finally, we have the control for shadow as well. With video switch on, if you go ahead and preview the uh, website, you'll notice that the video will play automatically as you can see. Now let's go ahead and add a design into our mockup. I'm going to go to Figma and I'll copy this screen design that we've done. Make sure that you hide any notches or uh, you know dynamic islands that you get from most phones. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to right click and go to copy as PNG and we'll head back to the framing project. I'll open up the upload screen panel, select the screen preview with that highlighted with a blue outline. I can go ahead and now command V to paste or control V if you're on windows. And the cool thing about this is I can instantly switch to different angles, which is extremely powerful, right? Now let's explore scenes. Now all of our scenes are crafted intricately. If you go ahead and hit play, you'll notice there's sometimes animations embedded into these. So you can see animated transitions, scroll transitions, as well as a loop uh, animations as well to create this beautiful floating effect. To customize, it's really simple. Select the mockup, go to the component setting. You can see iPhone floating rocks. You've got the screen size description for your information. You can upload any screen you wish. You've got the shadow control as well if you want to control that. And you've got a control for video as all of our models do. Let's go into Figma and pick a different design this time. I'll right click, copy PNG. Selecting the screen, I'll simply hit Command V. Let's go ahead and hit play to see what this looks like. So there's the first mockup and there's my second mockup with the app. Just before we do end this tutorial, there's a few more things that I need to show you guys to make sure that you have full control of these mockups. For example, here's a mockup of a MacBook Pro 16 inch. We've got all the same properties that we've described before, but we have an extra property in this case for perspective. Why do we have that? Some of our mockups use perspective angling to get the right fit for the screen. Uh, and if we scale this up, what tends to happen with perspective properties is that it starts to get distorted as you scale it up. So you have to use the perspective control to align it back. By simply adjusting the perspective control, you can get it back into the right position. Also, some of our mockups have other settings like hue control, as you can see with this mockup scene right here, as well as saturation for the background and contrast too. So that covers pretty much everything you need to know about our device mockups plugin. Hope you enjoy creating mockups with our components. And if you need any extra support, simply head over to framermockups.com forward slash contact to get in touch with us and send us a message. Happy designing. And I'll see you soon.